As you already know, flat tool teams migration is not just a lift and shift approach. Without proper planning and the right tools, the migration can't be quite successful. The key considerations of any successful migration planning are channel mappings. How do you map source channel with destination options? It can be teams or a, as a channel inside existing teams. How do you handle user and groups from Slack? How do you map unresolved users with available users at destination? And if the tool supports direct messages migration, it can be one on chart or group charts. And uh, the right tool to avoid manual import and export uh, to avoid data loss. Sageta Migrator is one such tool developed based on above considerations to provide you flexibility of completely automated solution with customized migration needs uh, to achieve zero data loss. Let's have a look into Flag to, to Teams migration. Sageta have three modules to migrate from Slack to Teams. Each module serves different migration needs. For example, the first one is Migrate Slack. Here, we will migrate each Slack channel as individual teams to the destination. And the second module is meant to migrate Slack channels as teams channels to the destination. And the final one is to migrate one-on-one -on -one charts and group charts. Let's look the overview of the first module. This is where we can connect Slack environment into the tool. Or else we can select the existing one if it is already added. Similarly, we can add new Office 365 connection here or, and we can select the existing environment here. So, and then we will land into the Teams configuration page where we have multiple configuration options to choose from. For example, we can rename the Slack channel so that it will look more appropriate at the destination. So, we have the option to uh, migrate all the Slack channels or better skip and migrate uh, a group of channels at one go. We can rename the group aliases as well as we are migrating Slack channels as teams to the destination. We can rename the description and also we have the ability to change the privacy level of the channels. Either we can set it private or it's public. Also, we have channel configuration options where we can uh, skip the conversations if we don't want and we can also skip the files Based upon our requirements, we can choose the appropriate options We have user and group mapping screen where we can map all unresolved users to a valid user as a destination We also have Migration options like delta migrations or incremental migration options such as item exist behavior. These options will be helpful to choose if a file already exists at destination, what actions to perform. Similarly, we can choose the other configuration options and then we can start, we can initiate the migration. One more good thing here is like we have scheduling option which will allow you to run either the migration now itself or else you can run the later point of time. You also have options to run weekly or daily jobs to sync the channels to the destination. You can review your configurations in the review page and then you can click off the migration. Once the migration is uh, begin, like you can find the details and the reports here. We will look into the more detailed explanation of how to use each option in the upcoming videos.